was difficult upon the Prophet ﷺ to deal with in the most beautiful society of Medina, al-munafiqun, hypocrites, that over time made their hypocrisy well known. There's a very particular element of this that relates to the moment at hand. I think that as many of us watch what is unfolding right now in Palestine and in Gaza, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give victory to our brothers and sisters in Palestine, liberate them, support them in their time of difficulty and all of our brothers and sisters who are oppressed around the world. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deal with their oppressors. Allahumma ameen. There is something that I think all of us sense around that emotion. And it's of different layers. There is the betrayal that we feel of the Muslim world to Palestine. Why is it that power does not assemble to uplift our brothers and sisters? Why is it that there isn't more mobilization beyond grandiose statements that are given in pointless forums? Where is the actual means of support to our brothers and sisters? You know, at some point, you have to not only use diplomacy in a way that benefits your own nation, your own country. But at some point, you have to use the resources that you have to support your brothers and sisters. At what point do companies pull their American ambassador? Because we have a president here who has given a blank check to genocide. At what point do they cut gas lines and oil lines? At what point do they mobilize for our brothers and sisters that are oppressed? and speak of them as their own, instead of mobilizing to shut gates and to ensure, just like those who hate them openly, that they never end up in their land. At what point? And then there's the betrayal that's felt at a local level. Some of you have friends and maybe even family members that you see online all of a sudden and they are posting things that absolutely devastates you. You can't believe that this person that you've had lunch with, that you've spent a lot of time with, that seemed like someone who was such a nice person, who cared so much about your feeling welcomed as a Muslim in this country, posting so openly about their disdain for the Palestinian people and their disregard for the children of Palestine. There's betrayal from your workplace. Everyone that championed free speech has suddenly become a McCarthyist. All of the terms that were used to say that students should have the freedom to study, learn and write and organize and all of the protections that are supposed to exist for employees and workers, and staff, when it comes to holding moral positions, all of that goes out the window. And there's a sense of betrayal. Where did that come from? I didn't see that coming. There's even a sense of betrayal perhaps that many of us have been feeling a little sick to our stomach that those who hold political office in our country use our money to kill our brothers and sisters. And it seems like no matter how loud the streets become, the more deaf the halls of Congress become, writing bigger checks for the genocide and for the massacre. And there is betrayal, a feeling of betrayal. Unlock spiritual enrichment with One Islam TV app. Immerse yourself in a unique experience that is music-free, fully halal, and continuously updated with fresh content daily. Enjoy a user-friendly experience with features that allow you to save your favorite videos, create personalized playlists, and download and watch your content offline. Download the One Islam TV app now and embark on a transformative journey where faith and entertainment unite.